Hello guys, welcome to Collector 1939 to 1945 here, and here I have my number four Lee Enfield. Um, this is a deactivated one because it has to be in England. It's the working bolt. You can also dry fire. to flip up sights pig sticker bayonet rifle case sling bandolier just minute it around in the butt you're supposed to be able to keep the oil bottle which for the number 4 has to be Bakelite not brass because the brass was for the SMLE has a little spoon scoop there for putting the oil on it. The um, pull through is still in there and it's stuck. I do have the deactivation certificate. I'll just show it quickly because people copy them. There you go. Birmingham proofing house, it's got the proofing house marks on the bolt. And another one there. This is an L59A1 DP rifle, which is a number four Mark II, which was converted from a normal firing rifle in 1986, if you can see there. Probably can't. Made in 1948. And um, these were used by um, cadets as dual purpose rifles. The only difference between that, those and this one, because I built this one out of just a breech and got new wood, and, new wood for it and everything, is that they would have a white band around the butt that said DP and a white, round, white band around there that said DP on it as well. This um, bolt should be copper. And partly is, but most of the copper is worn off. You can see the copper plating in there. It's not an, <clears throat> it's not a part as of the number four Mark Two. It's part of the DP, dual purpose. It's got DP there, and I'll turn the copper piece. It's got it there as well. It's had the uh, lug cut down, and I think that bit's been cut out as well to deactivate the bolt. Also, it's been half of the bolt's been cut off and blocked up so the firing pin can't come out. The extractor has been removed. I don't know if you can see. The barrel has been blocked up, and it's been cut out there. And the um, barrels on the original DPs have a little cut out in the barrel there, a little square cut out, and it would have been cut out of the wood too, so you could see it. And because I got the new wood for it. I haven't cut it out because I'm not using it for that and if I sold it I'd probably sell it as a DP rifle and make those final adjustments but I'm not planning on selling it um, but at the moment um, they weren't blocked or anything it was just cut out there but um, now because of modern deactivation standards it's been cut out all through the bottom and um had a metal rod welded through it right up to the breech there um, safety works by a little hook that comes up there and something comes out there to stop you lifting the bolt I'll demonstrate it quickly put the 
bolt back in. There are very there are many different variations of how you put the bolt back in. A uh, number four mark one would just or a star would have just gone straight in there and you put it down in there. But this is a number four mark two and the only difference between number four mark two and number four mark one are uh, the um trigger on a number four mark one comes out with the trigger guard and the trigger on this one is on a little block in there which is why I had to cut out all the wood in between that side and that side to make room for it and half that metal bit backing plate is missing as well as it's L59A1 that's been cut out but another main difference is the bolt it's got a little catch there button catch, you got to push that down and push it through and that's never going to come up until you even if you pull it back there can't lift it you got to push it down and then pull the bolt back and it lifts Leon Field has a safety feature that if you just um to make it safe you like your your round's gonna go in like that, so you push your magazine plate down, push that in there to there, so it doesn't pick up a bullet, pull the trigger, bolt goes in, safety goes on, you can't lift the bolt, and the trigger still moves. The, um, because it still moves the sear and everything, which catches on the cocking piece. But the whole point of this safety is that it has a secondary catch on the cocking piece. It catches it as well. Let me show you like that. So that's cocked. The safety is on. The trigger still moves. The sear is moving up and down. But the this is catching on the cocking piece. Do that. It goes bang. Um, it's got the butt plate there with the catch, the um, little storage compartment for the oil ball, and it's got bayonet lugs on the front, so you can fit this. You got to keep it a left turn like that. Then you push down, turn, and that's fits bayonets. Number four mark two. Um, that's the bayonet. Number four mark one. The Enfields had this bayonet because number four mark two is the bayonet model. The number four mark one bayonet was like it was the cruciform bayonet, and it was like an X shape rather than just round metal like this one is and um I heard this from a veteran when you stab this is supposed to make suction and pull stuff out with it yeah, nasty business bayonet fighting got the front um, sight protector sight blade this whole gun cost 270 as I said in the first video, as it's L59A1, they've made quite a few other adjustments. Cut through there, which I said. They um cut down through down there, because that's and down there they um ground it and everything. But overall, it's a pretty good gun. I was attempting loading it with these deactivated rounds you make the um you're supposed to put layer them one there and then another one in front of that rim in front of that rim in front of that rim and then you always put the closest one to you down first push down one of the regrets about this gun is that I bought a terrible magazine. I bought just a magazine <coughs> sh 
shell and it had big dents in it and I got the um, spring separately and it doesn't move at all and one of the feed lips is broken off I need to replace it and spent 10 quid on it um, but you can't load that one properly but this is a stripper clip used for the Enfield that's the empty strip clip. This magazine is supposed to hold 10 rounds on the Enfield for your work. And after you put the first one in, you take it out, put the second one in, and the bolt just, the strip clip just flies out when the bolt hits it. Um, that's pretty much everything about the the infield. This bandolier holds two of these in each pocket. Each of these carries five rounds, so ten in each one. Five pockets, fifty rounds in each bandolier. I got this from India. The rifle case. It got paid fifteen quid for it. Well, um, they they sell. They sell one for about 20 quid or something, and then they sell two for 30, so I doubled up with someone on Facebook and they have got the other one, and I sent that to him and it was only 15 quid, so that was a, quite a good deal. Okay, um, quick shout out, Taz, shout out, Taz101 Saga, great guy, subscribe to him, he's got the video on the number 4 Mark 1, and... Yeah, please rate and subscribe. Bye.